Well, we're looking at the clouds out there still. Very chilly temperatures this midday, although the roadways are looking somewhat dry there at South Texas College of McAllen. But I just peeked out the door here in Harlingen, and it is still some very heavy drizzle out there, and the roadways are extremely slick, especially across Cameron and Willsey counties, but pretty much anywhere across deep South Texas, you get some of that heavier drizzle, heavier that light rain, then you're going to get those roadways become slick uh, in a hurry. But those temperatures all across South Texas on the cool side, at least in the uh, mid 50s, upper 50s for highs further north. So the rainfall, anything we have uh, this afternoon, light rain drizzle is going to be confined mostly towards the coastal areas. In fact, it's really going to kind of become a little bit less coverage across the area until we get into this evening overnight tonight then we'll start to see that change again and by daybreak tomorrow i think we'll have even more of that light rain moving across the area so tomorrow morning expecting to see another slick commute to your work school or wherever your travels may take you across deep south texas highs today are going to struggle once again still 47 right now here at our studios uh, it's 55 though out in edinburgh and mcallen so those numbers uh, a little bit higher than what we were thinking but then a little bit lower towards the lower valley but that's where the rain has been kind of holding on so it's going to be kind of a again but well below normal by a good 15 to 20 degrees again today so there are your temperatures out on the island, 66. The showers will continue there. Surf running five to eight feet. We do have a high surf advisory in effect until 6 p.m. So again, not a good time to be out on the island. Well, certainly not on the beaches. Uh, lows tonight back down to the upper 40s to lower 50s. Rain chances going back up again, especially by the time we reach sunrise tomorrow. And then we'll keep those rain chances around again for tomorrow. However, the winds will be shifting around towards the east tomorrow. They've been out of the north, and that east should help us to warm up a little bit further tomorrow, especially across the lower valley, uh, looking at those 60s possibly. But that east wind's not going to really affect the upper valley all that much. So you get out in Stark County, we probably will stay in the 50s again for tomorrow afternoon. Again, unseasonably cool weather for an extended period of time, something we're not used to. So there's a trough of low pressure offshore. So this is now looking at seven o'clock this evening. So as I showed you earlier, uh, or fr Friday, I'm sorry, seven o'clock in the evening, We've got those showers around. The front will start to make its way through early on Saturday. And I think by the time we get to say seven to nine a.m., it should be pretty much through the area. That area of low pressure will redevelop and that trough will redevelop offshore. So the shower chances are going to be around for Saturday and Sunday as well. And those temperatures will be dropping behind that front. So we'll start out probably in the 60s for early Saturday morning and then fall into the lower 50s by Saturday afternoon. It's going to be the low to mid 50s all the way through the upcoming weekend. There is your scenario again. So this is that overrunning cool rain setup. It's going to be with us still by the time we get in the early part of next week. And the rain uh, totals, again, by the Weather Prediction Center, showing the heaviest totals now, for, still further off towards the east, but man, maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch going all the way back into Hidalgo County now. Coming over a period of time today through Sunday, it's not looking for any flooding situations out there whatsoever. There is your weekend forecast. So 63 to start off Saturday, then temperatures falling throughout the day. It's going to be another one of those weekends where if you got outdoor plans, not looking real good. Uh, hopefully, we can get things back into tip-top shape just in time for the holidays next week because people are going to be traveling and we need to get rid of the rain. But Marco, mm -hmm. cool temperatures and that rain is going to be yeah. sticking around.